greetings by our district missionary, Lisa Marie Dupree Slade. This is a great woman of God, y'all. I tell you, I stare at her sometimes when I'm here in the service, wherever we are, when we're at work, and I just, I just, I look at her, and I say, this is a woman, a mighty woman of God, a woman that I would just like to be like when I grow up. I'm still a baby in Christ, and I tell you, she's leading us women in the right direction. She's leading this district in the right direction. I just thank God for her, and we're going to receive her at this time with greeting. I'm on my way up. I'm gonna hold my head up and go my own with the Lord. My mind is made up. I'm on my way up. I'm gonna hold my head up. Oh, 
hard to see those young people carry out the way they did on last night. And we hope that they will continue to move on in the strength of the Lord and do whatever the Lord has them to do. And as long as they keep God first, amen, there is no stopping them. Amen. Amen. And so tonight we're so glad. We thank God for uh, also Mr. Carl Bird, who is our district, amen, musician. We thank God for him. Amen. His companion, Mother Bird. Amen. 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 We just thank the Lord for all of you all. And we just want to encourage each other. Isn't that right? Amen. To stay with the Lord. Amen. Sometimes things may get hard. Sometimes our way might get dark. And the rain might fall and the wind may blow. But no matter what, God is always in control. And all we have to do is keep our faith in Him. Wait up on Him. Amen. Wait up on Him. He will make a way out of no way. Amen. And certainly on tonight, we are looking forward to a hot time in the Lord. How many of you come looking for a hot time in the Lord tonight? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you come respecting something, the Bible said, if you seek, you're going to find it. If you knock, it shall be opened unto you. Praise the Lord. If you ask, it shall be given. Amen. So tonight, if you feel like knocking, you knock. If you feel like asking, you ask. If you feel like seeking, you seek. Amen. And God, amen, will do the rest. Amen. We put something in it. Amen. We'll get something out. And if we come and say it, we won't get anything out of it. So let's just let the Lord have his way. What y'all say about that? Amen. amen. With the, have me say, Lord. Lord. Amen. We thank God for those words come from our district missionary, missionary slave. And we thank God for each and every one of you on tonight. It's just a blessing to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Certainly thank God for all of these pastors and their wives and ministers that are present and all of the missionaries, deacon brothers, saints of God. It's just a blessing to come together one more time. But I rose at this time to present our leader of the Rising Fellowship District. Amen. This is our Ames meeting. Amen. Amen. And in everything you do, you need a head. Is that right? Amen. Amen. This is our head. This is the one that's leading us to higher heights and deeper depth. And we thank God for his leadership. Doing a wonderful job. And thank God for his companion right by his side. Amen. Amen. Doing a wonderful job. So at this time, we will stand and receive our leader. None other than the superintendent of the Ryzen Fellowship District, Pastor of Harris Memorial and New Edinburgh at this time. Amen. Amen. Superintendent E. B. Lee. Come on, say God bless. God bless. Superintendent Lee. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. I'm so glad that the Lord
thank God on the last night we, the young people blessed our soul, didn't we? Yes. Amen. We enjoyed them on last night. Yes. And we're looking for a high time. We already enjoyed the service thus far. Yes. We're looking for a high time in the Lord. Yes. Amen. This is our aim. Yes. And uh, tomorrow night will be the last night. Yes. Amen. It'll be on record. The history. 214. Amen. And we are blessed. All blessed to be here. Every one of you is We don't know what they up there. They were going out to the Lord someplace to come over to them. But see, we don't know what they up there. We can leave in church or something and feel lost to, to take out a life. To take out a life while we sit up in church. You know, thank the Lord. We need to go back preaching by hell. Amen. You can't help them preaching that we don't know what they're saying over here. The preaching while we get right to a lot. Preaching ain't right, then you get right. Well, some things going on in the church shouldn't be. When you get up and live truth, you preach the truth, God's going to be with you.
We thank you as you heal, you deliver, and you set free. In your son Jesus' name, come on, give God some praise. Give some praise. Ministers 
the elders, praise God. You the elder too, man, brother. These great elders. And uh, to all the great men, men and women of God, Amen. to my companion, Amen. to Spears. Amen. She sang that song, didn't she? Yeah. <laughs> they all did love it. Come on, give them a hand. So the greatest part in South Arkansas. Come on, put your hand on They're so easy to work with, and I just thank God for the they are excited about singing for the Lord, and they have reason to be here. We're going to talk about that tonight. Tonight, our subject is music, I think rather, music and. Come on, say music and. And that we're coming from Isaiah 61, and uh, it's the third verse. I'm going to start with the first, if you don't mind. Jesus. We have 15 more minutes, so <clears throat> pray that I. Y'all pray for me? If y'all pray for me, I'm going to take them 15 minutes. If you don't, I'm going to take 20 more. <laughs> You're praying for me now. You know? I thought that would get a prayer out of you. <laughs> now, it reads, the Spirit of the Lord, of God, is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and to open up prison, the prisons to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. That means debt free, that means prosperity. And the day of vengeance of our God. To, that means if you don't get saved, you're going to hell. Oh, that's another hell, let's go on. To comfort all who mourn. To console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes. Huh. Isn't that awesome? Now check this out. The oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. We're going to stop right there. And I like to take them, that part out of that subject, that scripture. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Yeah. We're talking about music aims. And I had a real good sermon for you. I had a big out just for 20 minutes. And I left it at home. So we're going to have to do something there. <laughs> now, let me tell you something. I did not ask to be president of the music department. It was suggested that I do so. I've been trying to be obedient. <laughs> I've been trying to do what they asked me to do. Like we all supposed to in my right mind. So I just did it the first year, just be doing it. But this year, I, I understand. <laughs> because I like to see God's people succeed and get to the highest. And I like to train people to. I don't like to think I'm the one that can only do it. I'm the one and that's it. You can't move without me. I like y'all to go on. I'll come in. Y'all are already almost through. That's why I like to get to that kind of potential. I love what God loves. The spirit of excellence. Come on, say the spirit of excellence. The spirit of excellence. You know, we, as a matter of fact, if we had got on time tonight, it would be 8.30 back, 8.35, and I'd be almost through. We would be getting out of here before 9 o'clock unless the Lord said the same. But since we were late, it's 9 o'clock. We won't be leaving here at 9 o'clock. <laughs> when you press to be on time, you get rewards. When you land around and be late, you get rewards. <laughs> we all be late sometimes because I was late last night. But I tell you, when you work, I understand, but there ain't no excuse. But I do understand. But it still ain't no excuse. Am I right about it? Now let's talk about music aims. Because there are some people who they seem to think that music is something about byproduct. It is a extra curriculum, like the honeymoon is in marriage. Y'all don't hear me. Some people seem to think that. They think that the music department or the music, or you say musical, that it's not that important. I need the word. That's what they say. But the Bible reminds me. I'm reminded if, if I know my Bible kind of, kind of a little bit. In the book 
of Psalms, I believe that there are 150 songs. Most of them written by David. They are music. Y'all gonna hear me up in this house. Music is very important. Some people think, they thought, they told me when I started preaching that I had to stop playing my music. I used to play the trumpet like my brother over there. If I had to put it down, I'd be as good as him by now. If I put it down, being obedient, because they say you preach now, you'll need to be fooling with that music. But the devil is a lie. <laughs> Never lives a lie. Because we were made, come on, say, I was made, I was made to, praise. to praise. I was made to praise God. <laughs> Let's go back to the beginning in the book of Genesis. Now, it really didn't the book of Genesis, but you got to go to the book of Isaiah to find out what really happened. And uh, what happened was, God made all beings in my right about it. And uh, he even created what we call, we call him the devil, but he didn't make the devil. The devil made himself when he was disobedient. Like he made you a Christian, but when you be disobedient, you make yourself act like the devil. <laughs> Am I right about it? And so Lucifer was created because God need praise just like we need oxygen. God loves praise. He has to have it. And don't think that if you refuse to praise God, he's going to die. Because he said, if you refuse to praise him, immediately the rocks will cry out. Then he said that. Everything in the world breathes and is alive. Y'all don't hear me up in this house. Everything is alive. Everything is connected. And when God had made Lucifer, it was said that he was one of the most beautiful angels. And he, could, he was second in charge. It was the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost on one, then it was him. And he, his job was to praise God. And he would open his mouth and all kinds of instruments and all kinds of sounds that we never heard before. He would create songs that would blow your mind, would cause your skin to tremble and, and cause your toes to twist. <laughs> he was talented, gifted. God had given him a gift only to praise him. And you know the story. I got 10 more minutes. You know the story. How he got lifted up in pride because of his talent and because of his beauty. And the other angels praised him because of his ability and, the, and his wittiness and his wisdom and knowledge that he beheld all came from God, but he forgot. You know the story. And, and then he got to act a fool and he said, you know, the Bible said, he said, I'm going to exalt. He had a throne because he said, I was, I'm going to exalt my throne. He had a throne. Yes, and when he said, I'm going to exalt my throne to the highest. And when he said that, I, I can give him a few by that very man. I can see God right now. God, get over here, son. <laughs> On this side, right there. God is in the middle of the throne. He said, when the said, I want to see the throne. And God is on the throne. And he heard it when he said that crazy stuff he said. You don't like to say crazy stuff in the church sometimes. <laughs> And he heard him, and, and I heard Jesus say, you want me going to take care of him? He said, no, I, he ain't nothing. I just let Michael take care of him. <laughs> Michael's going to keep him on life, heaven. <laughs> take care of that boy, because he can't stay up here no more. He didn't act too much of a fool. <laughs> Am I right about it? <laughs> and, and, and so there was a war in heaven. And the Bible says there was a war in heaven, and they fought. I don't know how long. But I believe that the Bible said that they called on the name of the Lord. And when he called on the name of the Lord, Satan left, Lucifer left, became Satan, and he left heaven quicker than a ball of heat and a streak of lightning. He hit the earth. And it was over. It was close to over. And then God, let me hear it. Let me hear it. God needed a new praiser. So he made a man. First he made a place for him to live. The earth was in chaos, so he had to make a garden. He called the Garden of Eden. He put the man in the garden. He made him just like God. You want to know what God looked like? Look at me. It's your good look. That's how it was with God. that we were made in his image, in his likeness. Am I right about it? And when you look in the mirror, you see 
see your image in my right about The reason God, he was, man, was just like God. His, his purpose was to praise God. And, 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 and then God said, I'm going to make you a helper. It was God's plan at the beginning to make him a helper. And his helper job was to make other little praisers. Y'all don't hear me. To make other little praisers. And all of these little praisers would come up and forth and just come on the earth. And the whole earth would praise God. From the earth, praises would go up with strange instruments and drums. And all kinds of instruments and singing beautiful voices. Yeah. Praise the Lord. That was the purpose. But you know what happened? And the man, you know, he, he felt, he listened to his wife one time he shouldn't have. Not that he shouldn't listen to her, but that time he shouldn't have. And, and let me share something with you. In my seven more minutes I got. Let me share something with you. What happened? I was mad at Adam for a long time. I'm still talking about music. Music angels. The reason music came to existence. And, and I was mad at Adam because I thought about all the hardship. I said, when I get to heaven, I hope I don't get kicked out because the first thing I'm going to do is go up and slap Adam. <laughs> That's the first thing I'm going to do. Go ahead. I, I got to be brave. Jesus. What happened? That's him right there. I'm going to slap the throat right across the face. And you know what? But then the Lord spoke to my heart and said, Adam, he, he put me in Adam's shoes. He said, now, you ever did anything, you ever been in love and did anything stupid? I said, yeah. He said, well, Adam was in love. And the Bible says that Adam knew what he was doing. The woman was deceived. Adam knew he was giving up the earth if he ate Adam, it, the, the, whatever it was, the, the fruit. And Adam, he knew the woman was low for her. Oh, my love is dying. I love her so much. I'm going to die with her. <laughs> that's what it was. And then when that's, it, was, it was love. And, and after he bit the apple and, and God departed from him, then he became just as a regular man. And he no longer don't know y'all about him now. He no longer loved her as he did before. Right. Y'all don't hit me right. up in this house. <laughs> no, because you know when God came and asked him about it, he put the woman out. Yeah. It's not the woman you gave. Get her out. <laughs> had the glory of God upon him, he was willing to give up the world and die for her. But when God departed from him, he was willing to give up to God for them. <laughs> so it's impossible for a man to love you right without God. Come on, some music names. So music was created and developed for God to be praised in worship. Yeah. And when you do this, God rewards the man. Amen. Man, let me go all the way past Adam, past the flood, knowing all of them. And let me get to David. David was a man after God's own heart. He's a man quick, not so quick to repent. But when he finally was brought to himself, oh no, he messed up. He wasn't quick to repent. You know what he did? He messed up, slept with the woman. He did a whole lot for that, though. You read the Bible. He called a whole lot of folks to get killed, thousands of folks. Then he got up in pride. But this particular time, he slept this woman. And then she got pregnant. You know the story. And then he killed her. Killed her. And he went on, and she got pregnant. You know, he went on, and, you know, but then he married her. All the folks thought, oh, the king is good. Oh, he looks so good. He, he married this one of all. He's, the king, got, and we got a good king. Which he was good, but he kind of got off. And you know, God came along and, and, and got it straight about you know, son Nathan there and, yeah. and got it straight and, and, and David, you know, but he was the reason he was a man after God's own heart because he had a, an attitude toward God. He wanted to be like God. God, he wanted the heart of God, even though he couldn't get it until Jesus came along. Ooh, let me hear up get through because I ain't got about three or four more minutes. Tell you about this age. And so, but one thing about David was he was a praiser. Yeah. Ooh, God has special love for praiser because that's why you were made. Yeah. 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 Music is important. It is very important. And so you ever wonder why we sing before the pastor preaches? Yeah. You don't sing.
seen because you can see because you sound good look. Oh, it's the art of service. The reason they put the praise team out front is because praises confuse the enemy. Yeah. Even before, you, you all know the pastor, Benny Hinn, and he has a healing ministry. Benny Hinn lays his hand on nobody and they get healed. He don't do it. He don't do it. The folks are already healed when he lays hands on them. Right? When he lays hands by the time the folks are already full of the Lord, we can be up here praying for somebody. And the emotional God is on their life. Yeah. And look at this. You can see it. All you got to do is say, you think I'm, we so annoyed. They fall out. Not the North was already. All they needed was you to prove they were. They said so. This man, he understands the power of praise. Just like, just like David did. You know, he prayed so much that he prayed the devil out the king. <laughs> Y'all don't get me up in this. The spirit of praise. The spirit of, let me excuse me, the garment of praise. It's a garment that means you got to put it on. It means not artifact that only it used to be. But it's not now unless we let the Spirit of God talk to us like it should. And there will be a lack of praise in your heart. And when there's a praise in your heart, no matter how you feel, somebody said it tonight, you can praise God and God will even send His healing in your body. And so God loved him for being a praiser. He was so praised that he is despised even by the ones that so-called loved him. Now give me a few more minutes. Can I have three more minutes? They about ready to sit down. Give me three more minutes. He was despised by the ones who loved him so supposedly. You know one time he praised God so hard? He prayed so hard. Then the Bible said he danced all out of his clothes. Yeah. Yeah, brother, this, he was a praiser. And so God said, he was, y'all oh, oh, just got a revelation. He was a praiser. Y'all better get this and go caution nothing. He was a praiser. So God said and left it on record that he was a man after his own heart. Because he was a praiser. Y'all don't hear me. And in my closing, you can warm it up now. I can't leave y'all like this. That was the thing I can't preach. What am I preaching?
because they was in trouble. They was in proudest time. They were in the last days. Because if the enemy came in like a flood and he got in there, it was last out. But they heard a word from God.
tell them, my weapon, my weapon is my praise. Hey! Hey! <laughs> praise the Lord. We gotta let you go. Praise the Lord. Gotta let you go.
Thank you, Lord. <laughs> and I hit the brakes. He just kept on going. And the brakes stopped. I mean, this car, but the car kept going. And he stayed on my side. And I said, well, if I don't hit the ditch, I'm going to hit him. So I hit the ditch. And I got, I braced myself up for the impact, but I didn't hit the sign, so it stopped. And I looked at my back window, he got back on his side, he got on going. Mm. <laughs> I'm back like, ooh, I like that. I said to myself, man, I need some more insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna leave my wife down here suffering. <laughs> That's all I can think about. It. I need to give me more insurance. Praise the Lord. But I like it went to heaven. I'm so glad that I didn't. <laughs> but if I had went to heaven, don't y'all worry. Y'all been down here crying, but I've been up there. Thank God for him. 
And we have some awesome musicians. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. Praise God. You can sing without music, but it wouldn't sound just as good. Yeah. So shoot, y'all know it, right? <laughs> Don't it sound much better with music? Yeah. I mean, you can sound good without it because y'all got lovely voices. But nevertheless, God made musicians for something. Am I right about it? Yeah. He needs to make us preach a little better, am I right about it? Hey! Who's y'all going? Y'all presidents, we're going to have a meeting tonight. I'll give y'all a minute. 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 Not like I got to go to work in the morning. And some of y'all don't need it. But y'all ready to go home and get the 10 o'clock news. We're back. Praise the Lord. So we'll let you go. Uh, no further ado, uh, thank you so much, thank you so much, thank you for what you did give us. Brother Bird, you want to say something? Here we go, back to the night, too. Preacher Bird. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> That's some kind of preacher over there, y'all. We have some awesome preachers in our district, you know what I mean? Praise God. I enjoyed the revival, the home revival. I came down here Tuesday night, and I got my soul blessed. That elder said, that's some kind of preaching machine you got that. That's all right about it. Praise the Lord. I pray for you, preach. You and your ministry, I we keep you up for the Lord. Because the devil is alive, am I right about it? Praise God. We love you. And I thank God what you're doing in your life, in your ministry. The mighty man that made it tonight, but we thank God for him as well. And all pastors in this district, pray in our mighty, awesome superintendent. Praise the Lord. That's all right about it. We got something special. Here and I know y'all special because y'all pastors teach y'all that way. That's why they, you know, I asked them to pay that money and that uh, concert. They give me no lip. They drop that money like boom, y'all. Because <laughs> y'all teach them. Y'all teach them that. If y'all didn't teach them that, they would say, "Hey, ain't give me that." <laughs> what that jerk gonna do with that money? <laughs> but y'all uh, so sweet. I thank God for you. You love God with all your heart. Continue to be faithful. And do the things that you're doing, and God will elevate you into the highest. Thank you for your support. And please pray for our church. It's more than me and Sister Spears, and Brother Robin, and Brother uh, Brown, and Mother Bass. It's about 40 of us. They, they just want to pray for them. And God will touch them out. We got young folks too. We got about 15. I, I want you to pray for them. That God will bless them. our ministry. That they will start studying minds. It's more church than Sunday morning. Am I right? Mr. Broad was praying so hard on Wednesday night about one, two folks show up. Out of why they started coming out. <laughs> so we keep praying, am I right? I want them to start coming to this meeting. It's so embarrassing to know about it. We got like we like we got nobody. But I want you all to pray for them. I, my heart goes out to the people of God. I know what they need. They need this. They need this. And I want to y'all presently to come by our church and visit and talk to them. Maybe that encourage your heart. Okay? Y'all do that. But y'all do that for us. You ain't got to stay all day. You just come to the Sunday school party. Get on back to it. Praise the Lord. So I'm looking for you, all right? Let me know when you come. Praise the Lord. So no further ado, we're standing in my right about it. Father, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you for your anointing power. We thank you for each and every one. God, this year, those who didn't make it tonight, we put a special blessing upon them. Uh, God, uh, Phillips, God bless them in a special way. Be with us to depart from this place, never from your presence, with your traveling grace and mercy go before us a consuming fire. Until we meet here again, bless the food in the back. In Jesus' name, let all God's people say, Amen. One more time for the Holy Ghost. Take it up.